All right, what do you guys think? Lair or a hoarder? See, I don't want to go to the rough patch because that's minus one wheel. But you never know what these things could be. Now the boss, the boss fights, uh, we haven't survived one of these yet. <laughs> uh, we haven't gone to a watchtower either. YOLO, go to the lair. All right, let's try it again. It was fun last time, even though it like destroyed our party. Have you beaten a boss in a lair yet, Evil Twin Link? The General's Keep. This one sounds hard. Yeah, I did not I did not want to go to the wheel event. You're right. You did beat it and it was scary. Oh, look at these guys. Within Shuffled! Keep, a general and his I, I just want to point out guard. that I knew they would put the Hellion all the way in the back. Like, you knew that was going to happen. Like the worst scenario. I should actually start her in the back and then have a chance for her to move forward, right? Um, she's a gaunt hater. Are these gaunt? No, these are cadavers, of course. That's different. They don't guarantee to shuffle though, because this is the spot that Rose Wolf was supposed to be in. All right. Um. Well, at least their arbalists are up front. Wait a second, what? What? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, man. All right, so wait. Oh, she can't do anything all the way back here. All right, we can set a trap. Let's put a trap down. Are these guys bleedable? Not really. Great. Ah. All right, we're going to move her. Only move forward one. Okay. That was terrible. Hit to the face. Oh my God. What a hit. Great. That was fantastical. Blinding gas. Nice. Perfect scenario there. So if anybody doesn't know, you have to do two two sentry fights and then the boss fight in these in these layers. Hey Techno Newt, what's going on? Alright, well. This is going Another pretty well. Impediment. Cleared with impunity. This is going pretty well. Except for the fact now I can't do anything. less damage anyway might as well hit hurt the corpse a little stabbing thrust okay
death's door on these guys. Is there any way to tell if a monster is going to be a death's door monster or not? Analysis is the natural prelude to action. The animations feel so visceral and great in this game. They're really, really good. I agree. Aside from seeing their death's door percentage, you don't know. All right, he's marked. I need a different ability with this guy. I need something from when he's in the front. He can do something better. variable okay we didn't do Easily too resolved. poorly there advance to the next battle shuffle them up okay we put the big guy in the back He's got 36. He's only at 15. Let's kick. Let's take care of these other guys. Bravo. That was good. That was really nice. You know, I think we could be cheeky, right? Don't leave him alive with one health. Try that. I knew what was going to happen. What a waste. What a waste. Nearby, how, how have your runs of this been going so far? Did you get to play much? Um... shot my hip i'm afraid of this big guy on god all right so when he's in the back all right so yeah we just won't we just won't attack you for a little bit <laughs> we'll just wait it's fine we got the repost going there we go all right i can iron swan him but then he's gonna He's gonna smack the crap out of me, isn't he? One bad one and one where I got to the mountain but decided not to pursue it since my team all hated each other. Oh, how funny. Just use some roundup on these guys. <laughs> I think that's what it looks like with these guys. <laughs> we used it, we got the weed killer. Um. All right, we'll take the hit. Ouch. Ouch. He's marked though. Like, I don't know, do you, what is your guy's strategy for this? Do you wait out the block and repost? Do you just wait that out? Or do you smack into it? What's your strategy for that? Oh wait, Nora's repose when self is stealth. Okay, no, she's not stealth. Say again. When 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 your opponent has block and repose, do you just 
pass your turns and wait? Or do you attack into it? You just smack him evil? Really? See, to me, I feel like I don't want to touch him. You're really liking the gameplay of Darkest Dungeon 2, though? I liked one, but the roguelike aspect of it doesn't feel as punishment. It makes me more fun, personally. Yeah, it, it's a subtle tweak, but the fact that... It, it feels like there's less to... Ma like, you're managing more... Like, I'm like, I just have to worry about this one run, this one team. I don't have to worry about everything going on with the Hamlet, you know? The stress in between rounds, the managing the perks in between mat rounds, you know, all that stuff. You attack into them with the highest health enemy because doesn't skipping a turn give stress. Not Well, not skipping a turn, but I could like do other things, move around. Do they even expire? I think the effects stay, do they? Oh, I don't know. That's an interesting thought. All right, well. Let's blight him up. Oh, no, wait, if I, if I blight, I could crit. Yeah, I could crit with this. Didn't crit, I got punched. Oh, okay, now the stuff's gone. All right, ow. How about you? Well, damn. It's not doing as much damage as I want. That's better. Way better. Dodge. Dodge this. No, I said dodge. Ow. If hit points less than 20, heal 33. That's oh, self only, right? He's at death's door. Somebody heal me. All right, proceed to the next battle. Um, playing cards, we got a griddle. We can make flapjacks if we beat the boss. We can beat the boss and make flapjacks, gang. all this good stuff we got oh my god let's go first time fighting a boss Locked oh now we need the rest actually he is tortured by failures both real and imagined i think roundup would help this guy it would free him the dreaming general 185 health what the Fudge is this. Analysis is the natural prelude to action. Cannot be moved. Okay, cool. So my move trinket just hurt us. It put my Hellion in the back. And what is this branchy thing? Ominous vines encroach from above. There is beauty in our imperfections. You got to work for your flapjacks. Yes. Yes, I do. All right, let's get... I guess let's do the duelist advance. We get the repost going. I guess. I don't know how I'm gonna beat this. Can you bleed him? Fifty percent resist bleed. Um, blight. He's. Blight is more likely. Okay, he's blighted. I can still try to put the dra trap on him. He resisted it. Fudge. All right, let's go forward one. Let's stack the blight. So 
So this is four for three turns. Now it's six for three turns. Okay. What Unsettling this whispers. That gazes back so intently from the abyss. Oh no. The vines are coming down. Is that like a time limit type thing? Six for two turns. Eight for three turns. The vine icon shade. Oh, yeah. Tangled growth two. Vine hamper movement minus two speed. Okay. These two are still on the first one. Okay. Yeah, got it. Okay, 12 damage for three turns. This guy's got the third rank. No, creeping growth. Measure oh boy. Your violence Strangle. And apply it judiciously. Vines constrict both body and mind now on this slot here. Strangle two, 99 turns. I don't know what that means. That sounds very bad. We gotta get this. The blight up strength 16 dwindles. per turn. That's a lot. It's going to start ticking a lot. Um, Glimmer of hope. Use it. How do I use it? Okay. Do I want to do damage? She cannot move or be moved, so I can't. I can't move back. Is she inactive? I don't know. I don't know what strangling does. I don't know. All right, let's just do this. Wicked slice wasn't so wicked. Bravo. That was a critical blight. 18 for five turns. She's strangled. I don't know what this does. Whispering darkness is my only option. Target allies. Pl oh, plus one stress. 75% chance. Okay, two of them got stressed. Oh, no. Three of them are being strangled now. How do you unstrangle yourself? Like, is there something I'm missing? Can I attack these? No. Uh. Malaise measured and steady. Oh, the tap root. What is this? I didn't even see this. Wait, that's... Oh, okay. I didn't even see that. Oh, no. I wish I saw that earlier. But these guys can do nothing now? Is it like, am I just toast? I didn't even see it. Like, cannot be moved or removed. It's got... Kind of, ugh. It sucks. So what did this do? Tap, Taproot is reacting to attacks.
melt down. This sucks. I just didn't realize. I thought it was all one big creature. I didn't even look. <laughs> that sucks. I even tried to be like all smart about it. I'm like, all right, let's study this guy in the beginning by going like this, but I, I didn't realize that this was something different. So I guess what we need to do is hit it again. And maybe it'll free it at some point. The soil stirs. What does this do? Something moves beneath the ground. Oh, good. Well, well, she understood death, but could not defy it. Hey, Rylus is resolute. Nice. I got an achievement for that. Don't let you die, Ricardo. Where have you been? You weren't, you didn't even come in over for your story. Right through the so I don't want to hear it. You're so dead. Tapper is reacting to attacks. Not, it's not really reacting enough to attacks though. The growth recedes. That's what we need to have happen. The growth recedes. Please recede. There we go. Ah, so much better. The Walking Dead. She's no in death's door. She's okay, her. though. You're fine. Azari, come on. Meltdown. Oh, boy. You're fine. So how do I get rid of these vi these other vines? Just a typical Tuesday meltdown, I know, right? Pass and heal? It's the first time I've gotten to do anything in rounds. All right, fine, but it gives you plus two stress. Keep hitting the back root? I can't with her. I'd have to move her forward. Oh, I just wasted my turn because you can't move. Come on, Rosewolf. Meltdown. Oh, God. We'll find it. Valkyrie, your life force is running out. This boss is fun. Um, I hope you like cardboard for dinner. I love it. It's my favorite. I told you when I named a character after you that you were going to die, and you were like, okay. I can't make you live. All right, before we die, it might be too late. 
Okay, so how does this work? The first time you hit the back, like you have to hit it three times to get it received for one person? Crazy y'all, I've always liked the darkest dungeon artwork. I dig the style. Oh, it's so good, isn't it? I agree. I agree. Guess you need to do a root cause analysis. That's what I'm trying to do. Do you want a lunch though? Yeah, lunch would be good. Um, Cause this thing in the back has got, it's invulnerable. It's reacting to attacks. Can, like it doesn't give you enough info. Yeah, by the time I noticed it, it was already all over. All right, well. Death comes for the rich and poor alike. There's a giant insect in here, babe. Knowledge and experience. Twin yardsticks of progress. A DD game not giving enough information saying to so. So this is a good example of like when you play blind and it's a brand new game, right? It's so hard to win. <laughs> but like knowing next time. So let me ask you a question. So Evil Twin Link, Nair Bear, folks that are playing this game. This game's, you know, been in early access for a while. So things like information on that specific boss that I just fought have probably been out for a while. When you guys, like, when the boss shows up on the screen, do you go to the wiki and say, okay, what does this guy do? Or do you let yourself die like I just did? Because you didn't know. And there's no judgment either way. There's plenty of games where I look up stuff right away. You die, you die, die. Die, die, die. Hi. Hi, I got rid of the big bug. I'm sorry you died. Yeah, no, you're not. Don't lie to me. Hey, we got 15 candles though. Die, I also fought that thing once when I first played Early Access, so I had an idea how to beat it. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Die, die, die. All right, here we go. Next run. Up ahead, a light in the limitless expanse. You, you learn to play the game, and then when it gets beyond frustrating, you wiki chill town. Chill town will. I like your name. I think that's a good idea. That's a good way to do it. Um. So, by the way, if you're a subscriber and want to be in the running to be chosen as name of my next group of heroes, type exclamation point. Pick me. That's one word. Pick me. Um, and we need 1866 in tips and bits in order to unlock our first giveaway of the day. Remember, gang, type exclamation point OT. That's how much time we're adding to our Saturday stream. Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern, we're doing an extra stream. All tips and bits throughout the week will add time to that stream. Would appreciate your support. And then you'll get to see me more on Saturday. Yeah. Altar of Hope, let's spend our points. It's interesting how you have to balance wanting to unlock new things with upgrading the things you have, right? It's like, I really wanna start unlocking more and more characters, but perhaps I should figure out which group I like and just start upgrading them. So this is two, two candles to upgrade death resistance this unlocks a trinket unlocks ravager hero path plus 20 percent max hit points if in rank one 25 percent more damage minus 33 percent blood resistance piercing Turn start, bleed 25% chance. That's crazy. 
Rotten tomato trinket. The berserker path. Oh, wow, this is hard. Interesting, there's no crusaders. I'm actually almost, I'm almost a for like my first instinct was to, oh, maybe I should grab a Vestal, right? And get my, get myself a healer. But I also then would feel like I need to have a Vestal in my group every single run. And I kind of don't want that handcuff. I don't know, this is tough. Yeah, I haven't tried this on Steam Deck yet. Uh, I'm interested because I, I could not play Darkest Dungeon 1 on the Steam Deck. It was the, the controls were so wacky. Um, yeah, now that makes sense, Rylar. If you have limited game time, right? You want it to be a fun experience. You want to make progress. You don't have as much time to fumble around. I'm gonna unlock the runaway. You know why? Because it's a brand new class. I don't know anything about it. 